Little teasers at the end, which I kind of want to dig into on top of what we've just been doing over the last couple of videos, trying to break down what was happening in the 1.0 trailer and all this kind of shenanigans. But we have confirmation we are now getting tier 9 and that some recipes, well, the milestone recipes are going to be changing as well. Um, so I'm going to make this pretty short. We have the first image, which is this one that was shown at the end of the trailer. I'll put a link in the description though if you want to go over there. There's talk about loads of merch if you want some like fix it coupon tp toilet roll um and all that kind of good stuff and some cool cool things in that so go over there make sure you check out that and see if you want to get some merch or pre-order yourself some merch even the vinyls uh they've got coming out which i, I definitely want to get so uh right first image which was this one which is just the announcement of phase five we kind of get confirmation in here about uh the pepto -Bismol. Uh, which is right here. I'll make that a bit bigger. Uh, the Pepto-Bismol is now confirmed to be coming out of what I'm calling the Quantum Encoder. We had a little scour through here to see if there's any other anything else. We can clearly see the superposition oscillators now are confirmed and are actually going to be actually in the game now. Uh, there was obviously speculations if it was, are they going to change, are they going to be different? And then we also get these little pads, which we know these was kind of going to be um, assembly points. Uh, so this is kind of confirmed. We can see it going into the actual space elevator here. The space elevator does seem higher quality, uh, but I had a look in game to see if it had changed and it didn't seem like it has. But also, I am live streaming this right now. So it's a little bit awkward because I can feel chat watching me. And every time I'm talking, they're kind of talking uh, and they're going, nee, 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 nee. but I, I guess I will let them say hello. So say hello, chat. Say hello. Say hello. There's an ad about to start. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there you go. You, you, you can say hello. Hello, YouTube. So if you if you're normally in the streams and you missed it, you missed your opportunity to be to, to be famous. <laughs> All right, but let's go back to this because uh, we know the space elevator part here is confirmed going in here. But the crystal superposition oscillator, we don't know if that's going into the opposite side. I doubt it because there is some more belts here, which could be for the other project assembly parts. Or is this going into this unknown building again over here? Since the superposition oscillators does state in the actual item itself. So if I had to quickly pick this one up and then go into my inventory, uh, as you know, it says a super uh, superposition oscillator is an oscillator circuit that uses the mechanical resonance of a vibrating crystal to create a string vibration with a precise frequency, often using teleportation technology and dimensional manipulation. Are we, are we, is this kind of semi-confirming that this could potentially be a TP machine or is the oscillator going into this machine? It doesn't make sense if this is a quantum encoder that's gonna get quantized in this building. I don't know, we, we, it's either going into this building the opposite side of the space elevator part or into this building here. But regarding this information, I didn't want to do it, but I've kind of just done it on the live stream and it kind of makes more sense. We've just confirmed in the 1.0 trailer that this building you see at the end is outputting the green liquid, right? Uh, and you can tell the reason we know it's outputting because if you go frame by frame of the actual pipes, you can see the pulse going in the direction uh, away from the machine, right? And we know it's connected as well, in case anybody wonders like if the pipe's connected somewhere else, but you can kind of see it coming out and opening around. Um, the Pepto-Bismol in this image, however, though, is coming out of the quantum encoder. It's going into this storage, possibly then up into this storage because we can kind of see it here. It moves along this pipe here and then goes up behind the encoder I'm still calling it the encoder until I get confirmation it's not. Uh, and then it's going up around here. And I would guess the particle accelerator is finally getting it used. So uh, well, it's finally getting a liquid use, right? So I'm going to presume it's going into the particle accelerator. To make what? I don't know. Um, and then in this image as well, we also get the final or a good look at this wall. This whatever this is. If we look at the bottom of the shape of this, right? You can kind of see here. It looks like it goes up like this with a the, like a cube and then the railings on top, like like so, right? Uh, I have a feeling it's just another barrier. So uh, it's just another barrier you can place down, which is near enough the same height as the belts themselves. Because as you know, when I'm usually building in Satisfactory, I usually put like, uh, I can show you actually. If we go into game, I usually put down, for example, a 
belt, and then I usually get painted beams on the side of it. Come this way. And then I usually get pillars to what the side to kind of create like a, a barrier from them, right? So I wonder if they've just kind of made a cleaner version of this, which is not clipping through the foundation. Uh, who knows? I don't know. And then you, normally I usually put one on the other side. But yeah, that's what I think it is. Um, so back on this image, I don't believe there is anything else here. We did scour and check if these uh, are Mark II, possibly. They're exactly the same. There is no um, daisy chaining along here. We can kind of see the power poles. Uh, there's nothing regarding overclocking. Um, we had a look up here on the belts. We can kind of see... Uh, where was it? Was it higher? Or was it down here? It was here. We can see the frame, the frames, uh, project assembly parts. Um, and we can also confirm that, obviously, that this project assembly part is getting made in this machine, which is the encoder, whatever this item is. We don't know the name of it. It's just a weird looking pizza thing. And then if you watch the video right to the end, you would have seen this shot right here, which is the big ass ring that is around the space elevator, um, which is, oh, if I can use my brush, this big ass ring, kind of see it going around, which kind of confirms about what we saw uh, a while ago and we did a video on it, which was the kind of the space elevator you see on the other planet as well. And I'm hoping when we unlock the milestones that this f maybe builds kind of like what you kind of see in Dyson Sphere, kind of. Uh, but this whole ring, maybe every project assembly part, well, not assembly part, but milestone you achieve, uh, it adds onto this. Who knows? Uh, but it's a cool ass shot. Uh, and is this something to do with a story? I would presume so. Um, is it the place where we can go and get food and coffee? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But I want it to be. And then if we go over to the E3 trailer, as recommended by Human Imperfect, who actually pointed this out, um, if we actually look at the top of this, this was back in 2018. This was shown uh, in the trailer. So it was kind of possibly knew it was coming. Obviously, the big bug is not coming. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of at the end. So this is how it potentially looked back then with the whole before the whole rebranding. And then it's had a big change. So yeah. But anyway. We're going to end this video here. I'm going to keep it short and simple. Uh, like I said, I'll put it in a uh, link in the description. Uh, if you want to go and check out the full video for this regarding the merch. Uh, that Snut states that is going on summer break and all this kind of stuff. Because it's like Swedish Nordic holidays and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we are now getting tier 9, which is fully confirmed. Is there going to be a tier 10? I doubt it. I'm going to guess there's going to be just 9 tiers now. Um, but who knows? We might see another one. But that means more machines and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Waffle, 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 waffle.